Hello, it's your girl Aisha Bo here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video or this week's video is going to be an update video on a video that I did last year regarding my under eye fillers. And I'm really excited about this video because when I posted the video on my under eye fillers, my cheek fillers, I got so much feedback ranging from good to bad. <laughs> But I got a ton of feedback and a lot of people who also were in the same boat as me who felt insecure or had always wanted to figure out what to do with their under eye creases. And I was really happy about my results having gotten my under eyes filler done and gotten my cheek filler done that I wanted to share my experience. And after a year, I'm excited to report back and say that my under eyes still looked really, really great. But obviously, as some of you know, under eye filler and filler in general does dissolve after a certain time. So I noticed that my under eye filler wasn't as prominent as it was when I first got it done. So I decided to go back and to get my filler touched up. Uh, they generally recommend between nine to 12 months to go and get your under eye filler touched up. And I will say that I waited past the 12 month mark and I still actually felt confident and good about how my under eyes looked, but you know, I wanted to touch them up a little bit. <laughs> so right now I'm wearing makeup. Um, I got my under eye filler touched up already and I am wearing makeup. I think there was some confusion in one of my other videos. People were asking like, oh, I thought you, like why are you wearing makeup, whatever. But I'm wearing makeup right now, but the rest of the video where I'm showing you my experience of getting my under eye filler touched up is me without makeup. So you can see me in the chair, what my filler look like after 12 months. Um, so you can get an idea of what my under eye actually look like and how the filler dissolved what you know the results were after that time and how it, how much exactly I needed to refill it I actually didn't fill that much more in um, because I'm really trying to be conservative I don't want to go overboard I don't want to like do too much filler you know it's really easy to go down a slippery slope in these situations and to just be like oh okay I was a little conservative the first round so let me beef it up a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more <laughs> so I'm really glad that one, I had my own somewhat <laughs> self-control, but also Tiffany, who is the amazing practitioner at Sisu Clinic. Y'all know I went right back to Sisu because they do it every time. She was great because she wasn't pushing me to get more filler. She wasn't like, I was like, oh, should I do this again? Should I do this? And she was just like, I think you're okay. <laughs> you know, she gave me a very realistic approach. I've definitely heard some, some horror stories where people have felt like they were pushed pushed by their injectors to get more than they actually wanted. And that was absolutely not the case. I feel like I probably should have pushed Tiffany more <laughs> to get me to do a little bit more. But overall, I'm very happy with how my under eyes look. I try to tell people all the time, just because you get under eye filler doesn't mean that it completely erases your under eye creases. Um, it's going to help to fill them in. It's going to help to make them look, give you a boost, make you look more radiant. As you can see, I do have slight under eye creases still but it's nowhere near as pronounced <laughs> as it used to be where I had those deep sinking under eye creases that made me feel super super insecure so here's a bit of a close-up again I do have makeup on right now um, but I will be showing you a close-up of my face without makeup after the procedure, well, before the procedure and after the procedure so you can get an adequate look and see for yourself. But without further ado, I know I've talked your ear off. I'm gonna bring you right into the video, but before I do, I want to note that if you go to any of the US Sisu Clinic locations, if you mention that you saw the Aisha Bo video um, and that enticed you to go and get your filler or any other procedure done at Sisu Clinic, they will give you a discount. So please be sure to mention my name if you want some type of discount. I know that definitely sweetens the deal. <laughs> Anywho, let's get into this video so you can see how it all went down. We're back one year later to re-up on my under eye and cheek filler. 
Probably mainly cheek. I don't know. Well, you tell me. Yeah. No, We're back with see. Tiffany, the best. Uh, who likes to hide her face? <laughs> so her. Like, exactly. <laughs> I'm doing a little better. Right? Oh no, I've seen you on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, you've they been doing videos. Yes, you've they been doing like, videos now. I'm proud of you. It's forced. Yes. It's like, please. <laughs> it's okay. You look Nothing great. Works. You've been killing it. Cheeks. Don't worry about it. So we're about to start the consultation now that I've done this for a year. Let's see. How are wow. we looking? We're looking good. Okay. I still definitely see some filler in the areas. Mm. So definitely a bit here that we can actually physically see. Mm -hmm. So it's probably closer to the inner circle that you're, the inner eye that you're seeing the, mm -hmm. the Yeah. So we can definitely pop a little bit in just that inner corner, honestly. Okay. This is fully flat. Okay. So I wouldn't put any more. Mm -hmm. And then on this side, Asia, this looks really good. <laughs> it, I mean, you, you did a good job. No, it looks really, really good. We could place it a little. Yeah, we could place it a little. You know, I look at my face every day, so I'm like, I know, no. you're, you're like, <laughs> So you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I, the second yeah, I saw her, I was gonna, I'm like, oh, she's gonna show me a picture. <laughs> no, actually, there isn't anything, because, yeah, it's been pretty good, like, in terms of, like, edit and stuff. I just, I don't know, I'm just like, do I need any more cheek? You don't think I need any more cheek? No. Tiffany, you're being too nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like when you when you did do the cheek filler because it like gave yeah, like that yeah but I'm you know my biggest concern obviously is just right. this so I guess if we can like I feel like under under eye wise mm -hmm. just the inner corners for a little bit of support okay we could u literally use the rest on just a little mm -hmm. for a little bit of kind of lift and contour for you mm -hmm. but under eye wise I don't think you like yeah, just like the inner corners. Okay. Everything like on this end right here is really nice. Okay. And pretty much like I could put some on the sides of your cheeks, mm -hmm. especially when you're recording and the light hits on your cheekbones. Yeah. It's going to be nice. Because I think, you know what it is too? It's the shadow. Uh -huh. Like it's always like this darkness under here. So yeah. I think that's, you know, that's probably what's also deceiving me when I have my hair down, oh, like okay. with my with my bangs and stuff. One thing that you're going to have to be a little bit mindful of is as you age, you're going to notice this fat pad here being a little bit more prevalent. Mm -hmm. And then that's probably going to give you another shadow to stare at. Okay. Once that fat pad kind of drops and it swells up too much, I wouldn't recommend any more filler. Mm -hmm. Just because you literally, it won't look good if you keep adding filler onto that. Got it, got it, yeah. got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But right now mm -hmm. it still looks really, really good. Okay. Yeah. So just a little bit of top. Up. Sad up. I know. <laughs> All the things. All the things. <laughs> yeah, you see like this fat pad. Mm -hmm. Like if you came in with that for the first time, mm -hmm. I would have said you weren't a candidate. Ah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Where did that come from? Yeah. Sleepless nights. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was the one, this was the side that was like, I think more sunken in yeah. last time too. That's holding up very well. I'm actually mm -hmm. very impressed. Yeah, it did a really, really, really good job. Like, I think the cheek filler set it off. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely needed that kind of like support in the cheeks for sure. Mm -hmm. So we'll just do this first, inner again. Okay. See how well that corrects. We'll see you back. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll drop the rest just in case we need, we need more in the under eyes. Okay. And then we'll play around with the cheeks. Okay, yeah, okay. that sounds good. Just look up for me. Mm -hmm. I just want to measure really quickly. Perfect. I need to buy some stress balls for home. For just life? Yeah, just life. Mm -hmm. You can You're have like, to. Look at that. <laughs> right. You get that email mm -hmm. that you hate. <laughs> I need that. All right. Mm -hmm. It's going to close your eyes for this mm -hmm. little tiny poker, right?
good. <laughs> just, just a little uh, tearing up. But, yeah. mm-hmm. That's what they expected. Huh? That's right. It, yeah. Mm-hmm. The numbing cream is so good. You can't feel the needle Anything, at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Close your eyes. Now you can look at this part. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then that's gonna expand a little bit. One more. <laughs> How was it? Uh, it was good. It's, the numbing was, was yeah, not, worse. was like painful. <laughs> Not painful, yeah. but it was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> but after, yeah, after I was numbed, it was perfect. It's always the worst. <laughs> it's always so weird, you like, she's like moving the. You feel it moving <laughs> too. <laughs> well, just so, you said just on the outside. Just like right there along the, like the rim of your, your orbital rim right there. Okay. Um, because you're kind of just almost like give it a little bit of cushioning. It's okay. gonna give an appearance of like nicer cheekbones also. Okay. But it's gonna be nice. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, I definitely see a difference with this going up now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's giving it a little bit of support in the area. Yep, yep, yep. Are you doing it on this side? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, like, see, like, I literally see, I'm like, whoa, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. This, yeah that's different. That's there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like that. You see how it's like supporting it? Mm-hmm. That yeah, yeah, really yeah cool. definitely, definitely. Okay. Okay, so now, so I definitely noticed the difference here when you added it when you added the filler to the side, yeah. it looks very snatched. I love it. Mm-hmm. And this is, it's not even healed yet. It's not even like fully set. It's great. I'm very excited for the balance on the other side. Yay. Okay, so we are done adding the filler to both sides of my face. And I can already see a little bit of a difference. I'm excited for two weeks from now. A little bit goes a long way, people. Don't be like me begging for more filler. <laughs> I'll tell you no. Yes, she will. <laughs> she literally will tell you no. So right now we're adding some Arnica. Yes, Arnica to help with any bruising, any pain relief even. Amazing. And then we're going to keep the area nice and clean. No harsh skincare, nothing aggressive to the area. Mm-hmm. You don't use Tret, do you? Tret no. no one? Okay, perfect. Gentle cleansers, keeping the area nice and clean. No exercising for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. That is fine. (laughs) Amazing. Hello, it is, I guess, I don't know if this is day one or day two. I guess this is day two of my under eye filler um, touch up. (laughs) So this is me the day after. And this is how my under eye looks. There's very, very minor, you know, like bumps and whatnot from where I had the incisions done. But aside from that, my under eye looks great. Let me get like under the light so you can really, really see it. But my under eye looks really, really good. Like so, so smooth. This was literally the perfect 
perfect touch up. And the thing that I love about Tiffany and Sisu Clinic overall is that a little bit goes a long way. You don't go in there and they're like forcing you to do like five syringes of filler, you know what I'm saying? So it always looks super natural. And I love this because I just look like myself. So this is the day after getting my filler done. There's no swelling, no like serious bruises or any other ailments. So I'm really, really happy. Um, as you know, it takes a few weeks for everything to really kick in. I'm making sure that I am drinking water, which is very, very important. It's gonna help to really make sure that the filler is nice and plump and that it lasts and just, just lengthen the, I guess, the amount of time that the filler works. And I feel like drinking a lot of water, making sure that I'm staying rested, maintaining my skincare routine, all of that was really helpful in making sure that my fillers still look good a year after. Cause I really didn't need that, that, that much done. I was just, you know, being pushy because I'm just like extra. And I'm like, well, I want it to be perfect. <laughs> but so far, so great very 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 pleased pleased with my results so far so i'll continue to give you some updates up until my two week follow-up Lo, it has now been one week since i got my under eye filler touched up and as you can see they have healed and this is what my under eye looks like which i'm very very pleased about um you can obviously see like a little bit of a line here but again this is like normal people under eye lines which is great because before i had like just unnecessarily deep sunken in under eye lines <laughs> so now i feel like a normal person but when you look at it up close and over to the side you see just how smooth and natural of a job they did because i look exactly like myself but i don't look exhausted right now i have no makeup on yeah right now i have i'm just getting in better lighting but right now i have no makeup on and I'm just like, I, I wouldn't feel insecure going outside with my under eyes looking like this because again, it looks natural, seamless. My skin is glowing. I don't look tired. I don't look sunken in. So I'm very, very happy with these results. So yeah, one week, amazing. I am back at Sisu for my follow-up appointment. I completely forgot that I needed to take off my makeup before I got here, so I just ran in the bathroom really quickly and took my makeup off. I just have on um, a little bit of eyeliner still left on my eye and some eyeshadow still on there, but it's fine. Aside from that, no makeup on my face. So we're just, she's gonna take a look and, hi! <laughs> she's gonna take a look and see how we're doing. I'm just gonna have you look up for me. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna feel the area. Good, nice and soft. You look good. Wonderful. You feel great. Great, and mm -hmm. there we go. Oh, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Bye.